My name is Jay Ali, and I'm here because uh, I'm really concerned about the corporate interests and how they're taking over the American uh, society, government, politics, and touching every single aspect of our lives, and we don't know it. And we're trying to just get some equality. I'm uh, recently graduated from Georgia State University, and I'm here because there's lots and lots of problems in our society, and uh, we've tried every reasonable route to affecting change, positive change. We voted. We, you know, we done. We've uh, talked about it reasonably. We've done everything. Now it's time for us to get in the streets and start saying what we believe in and start, you know, pushing back a little bit. My name is Mark Lincoln. I'm a land surveyor here in Georgia, and I've seen firsthand uh, the results of the uh, uh, bubble, the housing bubble. Uh, I'm here to support, uh, to lend my support in solidarity with the people uh, who are doing a very courageous thing by occupying this park. And I think it's instructive that uh, the law that they're breaking, which is called urban camping, was an ordinance that was uh, created a few years back uh, when there was an increase in homelessness and homeless people. And I think uh, this country would be much better served instead of outlawing the homeless and making them outlaws, we work to outlaw homelessness itself. How you doing? I'm Spante Parker. I'm from New Jersey. I'm just here for the people, fighting for the cause. Um, there's people out here on these streets that are starving. We shouldn't have this. We're America. We're a strong country. I'm just here fighting for the people. That's it. I'm fighting for you. And I hope you feel the same about everybody else because you should be loving people. That's America. I'm here because I'm actually a master's degree graduate that's working in a restaurant right now due to health issues and not being able to obtain health care or any kind of like stable economic plan. I'm one of the people that I believe did everything right and here I am. I believe that our government has been hijacked by corporate greed and by lobbyists in Washington and I've had enough. I'm a person, <laughs> I'm a citizen of the United States and I'm one of the 99. I'm Christine Van Syke and I'm here for equality. Hey, I am Tyler. I'm a student here at Georgia State. Uh, I live down the, around the corner uh, in the dorms here. And I'm here at Occupy Atlanta because I think, as with all these other people here, that corporations and the big banks have too much control over uh, power in America. I'm Bobby Paul. I live in Inman Park, a few miles up the Marta Line. I'm actually also um, head of Georgia WAN, Women's Action for Nuclear Disarmament, New Directions. So essentially we're a peace organization. I'm lucky enough to have a job and to be working at something I love, which is to change some of our spending priorities, you know, away from war and towards people and health care and children. I'm really moved by the Occupy Atlanta, Occupy Wall Street movement. I think there's a great shift going on in the nation. All I can say is it's about time. Hi, my name is John. I'm a full-time worker and a full-time student. Um, I'm just here to support what I see as unequal distribution in our country and to a gross extent, not to a small extent. Um, but I'm not able to stay all night and show my sport like I'd like to, but we brought some food down for everybody, some peanut butter sandwiches and water and stuff like that. Just kind of do what we can do. My name is Joe. I'm a uh, graduate student, a doctoral student in, in philosophy. And I'm here because I'm very concerned about the state of our society right now. I'm very concerned with a society that spends more money on warfare and spends more money in pe putting people away in cells, especially for nonviolent crimes, than it does in helping people find homes, than it does helping people find food, than it does with bringing people to together. I'm very concerned with a society that sets up our streets, that even plans our cities in a divisive way. I think we're all waking up to the fact that these divisions in our communities are artificial. They're artificially sown. That's why this slogan has become the 99%. It's not a slogan, it's a truth. We're seeing that those divisions, white versus black, liberal versus conservative, gay versus straight, all of these things have been artificially sown into us. And we're all coming together because we're seeing who's doing the sowing of those divisions. And this is a global movement, this is a worldwide movement. People are coming together and seeing that a, a small group of individuals have an inordinate amount of power and it affects each of us. On, in our daily lives, in a day-to-day -day basis, and we're standing up, we're saying no more. Politicians do not represent us. We demand that new society, and we will create it. We will be here.
here until that new society is realized, not with the prevailing power realities, but with a more equal set of power where we treat each other like human beings, not as costs, not as profit, not as the electorate, not as a vote, but as human beings. When we realize that, there will be no more need to occupy because the city will truly be ours. Peace.